Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Plays Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny. I'm your host Lorefan. In this uh, Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny walkthrough part 4 video, we're going into Castle Britannia. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so it'll be updated and more. Now, the last video, we not only got the Compassion Mantra, I say, the uh, Mantra for the Shrine of Compassion, which is MU. We did also get the HMS Cape Plans, which is very good. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and go over our stats from in between the episodes, what I did exactly. It is time for an update, so let's go ahead and hit the Z key, which is the stats. Uh, unfortunately, my avatar didn't level up. Um, however, Shimino did get to level 3. I think he did get either a point strength or definitely dexterity. So that's the good news. And uh, I think it was Lord British that level up, some kind of spirit or something. Ilolo is still the same. And let's see what else. I did get a lot of gold from trolls. Yeah, I did some farming. Got, got some more keys too, looks like. And such. Unfortunately, again, reagents. I'll have to go to you for that most likely. And I did get some more uh, weapons. And everything looks ready and good to uh, go. So you know what? It is time to go ahead and explore the castle. Welcome to the castle, Lord British. So let's see who's there. Oh, great. Okay, this is stuff of nightmares, Chuckles. You see a bouncing jester. I am called Chuckles. Yeah, we know your name. You're annoying. Job, I am here to welcome and try to entertain. Yeah, good luck with that. Entertain. Ho oh, ye he hum. Yeah, I'm not going to read this whole part because it's really annoying, but still, I think it was Ultima. Seven, he plays a game with you. With uh, you have to have, have make sure it's two syllables or something like that. If you mess up, you gotta do it all over again. Did Stelsa enjoy that? I'm gonna say yes on his feelings. I thought though, uh, might, but still, he was really annoying. I remember because of the pandemic, I was playing uh, Ultima 7 for fun, and yes, it was uh, terrible with him. I wanted to kill him with a cannon, dude, too. I think I'm gonna have to make a short one day where Chuckles dives by a cannon. That'll be fun, but anyways, uh, he has no other information except to annoy the living heck out of you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna read that last line. Okay, there's a fountain. Okay, that is good. I'm gonna drink the fountain. I'm the guinea pig. Oh, that is nice and refreshing. Really, uh, good. Okay, let's go ahead and explore this castle. Oh, by the way, the, uh, Lord British theme, it sounds really depressing. Well, that's Ultima 5 for you. No Lord British to cheer you up. It's gloomy. This castle is gloomy, unfortunately. But we gotta explore it, though. I mean, come on. We gotta find Lord British, hopefully. Hopefully he's not dead, yeah. Otherwise, we have to really contend with uh, Blackthorn. That is not good. So let's uh, go ahead and open the door. Okay, it's locked. Hit the J key to jimmy it. Where no one locks, it's unlocked. Let's bust it open. Okay, good. It's at 74. Okay, that looks like it's a stable. That is weird for uh, that. Uh, it says they'll see the sign of a stable. That has a weird location for it. I don't know. That kind of like a poorly uh, placed location. I'm not going to go all the way around the castle. I don't think anybody is there this time around. And I think the uh, hole to Hithloth is closed. So let's uh, go on in and uh, get some uh, more information. Uh, let's talk to this person. You see a young girl. I am called Triana. Oh, good. What is thy name? Fenton. A pleasure. Uh, okay, here, name's Triana. Greetings, Fenton. Nice to see thee again. What's your job? I am the stable girl. That's cool. Stable girl. Lord British's stables are home to many of the finest breeds in the land. Uh, breeds. We have, uh, prime examples of the major breeds. What's thy favorite breed? Valian Horse. Type that in. It's from the, uh, Britannia Village. Hey, mine too. Uh, and then, uh, it says, ever heard of that? It says, nope. I'm uh, sorry about that. I rushed that mage from uh, Pa's name. Uh, Bandai claims one exists. I wish I could remember the horse's name. So, uh, unfortunately, the Val uh, Valerian horse or Valerian horse quest from uh, the East Brianna village or one of the Brianna villages, I think, will actually uh, go ahead and lead you to this castle. Then now you go to Pa's. So, this is like a uh, go uh, going around back and forth like crazy, unfortunately. But good news is I'm going to be uh, blunt and honest, though. It's not, it's real fun to do. I have a feeling it will be. 
If there's a talking horse, I cannot wait. I think I, I think I remember right there is one in Ultima 4. I am sure of it. Hopefully it's the same horse. That would be really uh, cool. Uh, looks like nothing there. I don't see anybody else there. Looks like that uh, glowing door. I think I might need another uh, key. But for now, let's explore some more of this uh, castle. I mean, come on. Let's have some fun uh, doing so. Let's uh, bust this open. Ah, there we go. Look like there's two people. You see a large jolly man with a very dirty apron. I am called Steven. Great. Dirty Kirk. Cook. Uh, your name's Steven. What's your job? Uh, I am the lower kitchen, uh, chef. Kitchen chef. I love to cook, especially for banquets. Uh, cook. I love to cook, especially for banquets. Okay, that's the same thing. Uh, banquets. Alas, we have not had one since the master left us. Okay, master. Let's type that in. Yes, this is very sad, though. I hope for his return, so I may once again, uh, place a roast peasant before him. Yeah, we need Lord Bridge badly here. It's too depressing. Twas his favorite. Now I'm missing him badly. How's your health? Yeah, yeah, I knew you'll say that. Let's talk to this bard. You see a melancholy magician. I am called Alistair the Bard. What's your job? Of course, you're a bard. I try to lift people's spirits through my music. Okay, music. Once this was a happy place where all could come to shed worries of the uh, worries of the world for a brief time. But now times have changed and all that remains are uh, memories. Yeah, yeah, this is really depressing here. Uh, memories, memories of the good times. Uh, good times when Lord British ruled this land with a firm but just hand. Yeah, 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 I do miss him. Lord British, I cannot help thee with that. Uh, bye. Yeah, I actually do miss Lord British, so let me go ahead and loot this. Yeah, let me go over. In Ultima uh, 1... Oh yeah, I uh, killed many guards to save a princess. That was very important. Well, not uh, going great detail for that, but that was fun. Ultima two, yeah, he uh, gave me a lot of hit points though. If of course I give him gold, that was neat. Ultima three, he really leveled me up uh, nicely, but then again, I had to store levels until the right moment. Now in Ultima four, oh yeah, not only he leveled me up, but he was a great healer too. I used the sacrifice trick for uh, because of him. So let's uh, go ahead and go to level 2 next. Welcome to level 2 of the castle. Yeah, the music is still gloomy. I'm sorry to say everyone. Okay, let's go through here. I'm not going to interact with the guards, really. Okay, they offer no response. Look like that is locked. I'm not going to tick them off. But you know what? There's a whole bunch of people here. I think there are other guards too. Let's open this up. At this time, everyone, it is time to loot everything up. I mean, come on. Let's uh, do it. Nothing there in the trunk. Yeah, they're sleeping, so we just got to be very quiet. At this point, we're thieves. I mean, come on. In Ultima 4, I did not steal a thing at all. Yeah, yeah, just uh, trust me. This one, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do so. Yeah, I'm going to let that karma go down for this. Uh, nothing there. Let's uh, open it up. Let's open. Let's uh, search. Oh, there's a weapon. Okay, that's good. A long sword. Good. That's the money I just saved right there. Oh, man, that is real nice. You see, kids, in Ultima 5, it's okay to steal. You just got to find a nice source to uh, gain that karma up. And now I don't have enough uh, money. I don't know much of the mantras for the shrines yet. So let's open the door. And uh, there we go. Let's see what else is there. Okay, hopefully we can find another quest or uh, so. All right, this is very important. You need to talk to this NPC. You see a scruffy young girl. I am called Desiree. That's that's nice. Nice to meet you, Desiree. I'm Fenton. What's your job? I help my grandmother prepare their meals. Meals. It's hard work for we feed a lot of hungry mouths. Okay, hungry mouths. Let's type that. Those guards eat like bottomless pits, but none of them are as bad as Lord Stewart, the hungry. Oh man, Lord Stewart would be pissed. He travels around between the towns and castles and eats and eats until they throw him out. Oh, just like someone going into a buffet for all you can eat. I hear he's been working on a magic spell to create food. Oh, this is good. Create food it is not yet perfect. I'm, I'm told apparently it only creates a small quantity, much too little for him. Okay, this starts the uh, create food quest. So talk to Desiree on uh, floor two and you have a shot at the uh, food quest. 
Okay, it's the same thing. So this will start to change. So looks like we're gonna have to go to Moon Glow, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it said there too. How's your health? Yeah, okay, you're fine. But still, we uh, got ourselves a spell we get to uh, learn. That's nice. Let's talk to uh, this one here. You see a springly old woman. What's your name? My name is Margaret. What's your job? I am the upper kitchen chef. Nice to meet you. Kitchen chef? I We feed a whole lot of folks here. Feed. I cannot help you with the... Folks, we serve mostly guards. Since Lord Brace left, we uh, get few visitors. Yeah, it's depressing here. Uh, Lord Brace, he took an expedition into a newfound underworld and was killed. Blame the newbies in his party. Seriously. They're the ones who uh, got him killed, probably. Okay, I typed in kill, nothing else. Drop by later for a hot bowl of soup. Uh, no, thank you. So, let's go ahead and explore more level 2. Okay, inside the barrel is absolutely uh, nothing. That's alright. Let's search some more. Yeah, I'm searching for free food here, everyone. That's right. At this time, once again, we're uh, looting everything up. We did get ourselves a nice uh, long sword, so that's the tally right there. I think I'm still at 74 karma. I'm sure of it. Yeah, this game doesn't uh, tell you like uh, in sound if your karma goes up and down. You gotta use the old, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Control K to do so, and it just gives you a number of value. Yeah, strive to uh, get that higher because higher karma, lower shop prices, uh, you get a lot more gold to sell for items. Also, you retain uh, experience points, so if you have, like, for example, 99 uh, karma and then you die, you only lose 1% experience points. That's pretty good. Unless, of course, you purposely ding some karma and then you do the experience trick. So let me go ahead and tell everybody about that now I heard. This is why I heard about it. So when you die, you lose experience points and uh, you might get D-level. If you get D-level, then you level up again, uh, of course, uh, by camping. And if you do, then you'll get one stat point randomly increase. People uh, did that so this way they get from uh, 20 to 30 uh, back in the day. Now, if you transfer your character, it's just uh, 25 to, of course, 30 for three stats, which is uh, good. Great to do after, of course, you uh, get all the shrines done because I heard the shrines give you a points too. So let's go ahead and do some more exploring the cat in the castle. This looks very good. Let's check this way. All right. Let's bust this open. Oh, all right. It is locked. Let's jimmy the lock. And there we go. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, check here. Okay, there's a clock, and it's nighttime. So that is uh, very good to uh, know. Let's uh, see here. Oh, we're at the rooftop. So let's go ahead and explore the rooftops. So far, uh, so good. Oh, there's cannon there. Oh, that is uh, nice. Let's see here. Let's go this way. Uh-oh, <laughs> troll, we got busted. You see a big, mean, nasty, ugly guard. Hey, you! Dost thou not know that this is a restricted area reuse spawn? What did uh, this uh, thou say? No. Shut up. Uh, thou art not allowed up here. Art thou going to leave on thy own, or must I throw thee off the battlements? I'm going to leave on my own. Get off the roof now. Yeah, that guard's a dick, but looks like he's blocking some kind of progress, so we're going to have to find a way to get past him or avoid him. So I'm not going to entangle with the guards for now. So let's go to the basement. Welcome to the uh, basement, everyone. This is the uh, last level of the castle that I could explore in. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything uh, else. Let's uh, go ahead and open the door. Okay, there's a storage room. I do miss that storage room in Ultima 4 with the treasure chests. That was tempting me, so that's why I looted up. I guess they got, all got looted up after I became the Avatar and left uh, Britannia. I think they definitely got all looted up after Lord British... Uh, Went to the underworld with a whole bunch of newbies that probably got him killed. And we're seeing his spirit now leveling us up. Oh, wow, there's a guard there. So let's go ahead and search. Nothing to barrels. Yeah, we're uh, looking everywhere in these uh, barrels here. Let's search. Okay, nothing there. Oh, uh, that's fine. Yeah, I love looting things up like this. This is like absolute freedom from Ultima 4 because I had to be absolutely uh, good. Well, actually, technically, Ultima 4, you could loot all the treasure chests up. However, uh, uh, the virtues that you uh, loot the chests with, they take a hit. Then, of course, you have to get those virtues back the long way, but oh well. It's a nice change, though. You get early money now. 
So you know what? Let's uh, go over here. This looks like a funky uh, door. I uh, do not know what it is, but you know what? Let's check this out. Okay, I think it said something, but let me see here as soon as I open it up. That looks like it's a uh, jail. Yeah, see, there's uh, reinforced doors. Uh, there's another one. There's this guy. Let's talk to him. You see a unkept and pitiful soul with a distant stare. Hey, come here. You're the first soul I've seen in months. Ah, great. Won't you stay and speak with me for a while? Sure. Uh, Chuckles uh, hates me and left me locked up here well beyond me sentence. Should have killed Chuckles. My name is uh, Drudgeworth. What's your job? I didn't do it. Ye believe me, don't ye? I'm gonna be honest, no. Then go. On ye wretched way. Bleep. Just ye wait till I get out this hole. I'll teach ye to uh, mess with Drudgeworth. Oh yeah, go ahead, but I'll take a karma hit. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Rot in the jail, dude. But that's the jail anyways. So let's uh, go ahead and explore more of this uh, nice uh, basement. No guards here to yell at me, unlike the roof. Which I did get yelled at. Okay, this is another uh, room with a sign. Let's uh, go on in. This looks like either a weapon or armor shop. Uh, we have not found the uh, armor shop in this game yet, so I'm guessing. I mean, I, I'm guessing this is the armor shop because the U uh, weapon shop, even though there's a whole bunch of ranged weapons, is in, of course, uh, Brit uh, I should say uh, Britain. I guess that's the uh, armorer sleeping. So that's good. We now uh, found the uh, armor shop, but it's at night. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, search. Oh, by the way, hit I to ignite torches if you have them. And uh, believe me, torches, I have a feeling they're easy to uh, get. Well, go hunt the trolls at the bridge that's east of Britannia. That's a great place, I think, to start early on. Eventually, hopefully, I can find a better spot to do. If not, it's going to be exactly like uh, Ultima 4. Yeah, I'll be living at the troll bridge once again. Which is a good thing. So uh, let's uh, explore more of this uh, basement. See uh, what else we could uh, find. Uh, Jimmy to lock. Unlock. There we go. All right. There's some more uh, crates to uh, loot up. Well, like I said before, I'm going to repeat this once again, everyone. It's not stealing if you're uh, not caught. Nobody's around. It's not stealing. Oh, wow. 74 karma. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing I, I had 75. Then I got one by uh, stealing one of Elolo's uh, crops. Yeah, my old friend uh, dropped my uh, karma. Thanks a lot, dude. Still, he's a good bard, though. He's, he's a keeper in the party. I like his wife, but her uh, strength is too low. You know, her dexterity is higher than Lolo's, but still. I'm uh, keeping uh, the husband for uh, now. As for a mage, I'm kind of hoping Mariah is there. If she is there, oh yeah, she is my uh, number one mage. She dominated the game last time in Ultima 4. Mariah was my uh, go-to caster. Then Janna... And then, of course, myself and then, uh, or I would say, uh, Ilolo and Shimino helped out, too. Julia at time helped out greatly. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go outside. I'm going to try to turn it from, uh, of course, uh, night to day. I want to visit the uh, armor shop before I do uh, end the video. That's the stables, once again. I'm going to try to find the exit. And there's the uh, guards. Good, they won't uh, bust me at all. Let's open the door, and uh, there we uh, go. Let's leave the castle and we'll have to uh, camp since uh, we cannot visit in at all, unfortunately. So let's uh, hole up here. This should be uh, fine. Let's do uh, nine hours. I'm going to have to set a watch. Uh, let's see who's going to be the watch. Elolo, you're up for uh, watching. And yes, he's playing the annoying loot again. Yeah, you see, Elolo's like goofing off and stuff. Look at that. He's just playing it and just being a goofball. And yeah, and yeah, he's just keep at it. Now he's just walking around, not patrolling anything at all. See, I told you he's a goofball. Look like everything is all right. Everything is uh, fine. Ambush conflict. Okay, here's the deal about slimes. In uh, Ultima 5, Warriors of Destiny, if you hit a slime with a ranged weapon or a melee weapon, uh, what happens is they split into two. Good news is uh, you can kill those two afterwards. But still, that's like a lot of small experience, but it does add up. Since this is going to be uh, somewhat of a long fight, just like a uh, Divinity Original Sin one, uh, that's a five-minute fight. I'm going to let that go on. I'll uh, be back after we uh, clear out the entire camp of slimes.
that was a long and well worth fight. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say this uh, now. I uh, purposely let the battle go on this time without talking because I want everybody to listen to the uh, music. Yeah, the battle music is uh, actually uh, really nice. It's uh, one of my favorites in this uh, game. Well, thanks to, uh, of course, uh, uh, Pix's uh, Ultima Patcher. And if you uh, play it from the Apple days, maybe the Amiga days, yeah, you would definitely hear the music. PC version, aka IBM version, didn't have it, unfortunately. Uh, uh, let's not talk about the NES version at all. Seriously. That's another uh, topic. Maybe someday I go find it and I'll play it for everybody's entertainment. But anyways, it's about almost 7 a.m. in the morning, so it's technically daytime. And uh, everything looks good. Make sure I have some keys there. We're going to go to one last place before I uh, do uh, tell everybody what did I learn on my journey. It's the armor shop. I want to uh, go ahead and uh, check that out with everybody. So let's uh, go downstairs. Uh, there we go. Climb down. And uh, let's uh, go to the uh, armor shop. Oh, wait. No, no. That's, I think it's not this way. Oh, that's the uh, locked door. Well, we'll get to that eventually once I find the special keys for it. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, open the lock and jimmy it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yep, there you go. It's unlocked. Oh, wait, that's the storage room. Oops. Oh, good thing I don't waste a key every time I do that. I think, let's see if I could do that. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to wait until uh, this uh, person gets up. Yeah, a little bit too early, but who cares? Let's uh, check that out. Okay, still dark. Let's uh, ignite the torch. Oh, wow, he is up. <laughs> I guess I woke him up. Oh, uh, good. Merchant says, come see me at me shoppy." When it's open good open the shop I got people who want to see what's in the shop this is an armor shop I have a feeling if I'm right yeah it's an armor shop so let me uh, see what they uh, sell let me go ahead and uh, see what I could sell to them if I can okay that is a uh, good uh, I'm not gonna sell this long swords okay Godspeed says max okay max what do you have for inventory and let's see here chain cough magic shield chain mail Plate mail, long sword, silver sword, protection ring. Oh wow, these are all good. I am curious about the plate. That's almost that's 875 pieces of gold with 74 karma. So that's uh, nice. That's good. Okay, this is a nice starting out uh, armor shop. I'm already impressed by it. I'm gonna say it's a uh, eight out of ten. Do do you have to reach there with a key, of course, or go the long way? But still, it's a good armor shop around uh, Britannia. I should say the uh, uh, Britain area more like it so let's uh, get out of the basement and then I'm gonna get to the surface after all that is said and done we're gonna go to our uh, segment for the Ultima series I uh, started from ever since if I remember correctly Ultima 3 what did I learn on my uh, journeys I should say on my uh, journey so let's try Jimmy like oh, okay so the keys can't break so good idea to stock them up I'm gonna have to uh, go the uh, long way folks for some reason, uh, yeah, I lost two keys. I had 25. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's all right. So let me uh, go the long way, and I could just definitely uh, get out of this uh, castle. Oh, there's the uh, ladder up, and uh, there we go. Let's open the door, open sesame. Oh, I said Jimmy the lock. Oh, good. Now, oh, wait. Ooh, there's the, oh, there's the kitchen, the crappy kitchen. I prefer the one on level two. That was more useful anyways. So uh, let's uh, open the door. As soon as, once we are outside the castle, I will uh, do what I need to do next. Let's check this out. Okay, that is locked for now, but that's all right. Uh, that door is locked. I'm not going to mess with that. Nope. I'm going to save my keys for better things. So let's uh, get out of here. And it's time to uh, for the part of what did I learn on my uh, journey? Chuckles is the stuff of nightmares. True story. Well, that's not really important, but I had to put that in there. The uh, Valer uh, the Valerian horse quest sends you to pause next. If you talk to a stable uh, girl saying the uh, words uh, Valerian horse, that's V-A-L-O-R-I-A-N horse. Uh, in the upper kitchen, Lord Stewart and Moonglow knows about create food spells. So you have to go to Moonglow for uh, that, I guess, to learn it. The roof guard is definitely hiding something. Unfortunately, I didn't get any other information. I'm going to have to get keys in the future for uh, that. So it is now time for a recap for this video. The uh, first thing I did was is I went on level one, resumed the uh, horse quest from uh, village of uh, Brittany. Once I uh, resumed that quest, I got set to uh, pause next. 
Went to level two, started the uh, create uh, food spell. I have to go to Moon Glow for uh, that next uh, step. Went to the rooftop. Guard caught me there. So that guard is guarding something or hiding something. We don't know uh, what. And the next Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny video, we're going to uh, you. That is to the north. This is it for my Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny walkthrough part 4 Castle Britannia video. This is Lord Fent signing out. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern gaming just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the avatar. Have a good time at this tavern.